question that we've been asked is uh, does you law integrate with uh, you know real estate products like uh, reality web or ldd a lawyer daniel reality web so here is a manual that we pulled off the internet it's called account integration guide from reality web uh, for pc law we basically did the same thing uh, which is like you know you set up your uh, uh, exports from uh, you know reality web exactly like the way you would do PC law integration right when you do that what happens is if you actually go to uh, uh, page 13 you will see how you can actually export your file in your C colon uh, slash under uh, reality web so what we suggest is when you actually use reality web you would export your files like the way they kind of uh, tell you that like you know you can enable PC law exports and when you actually do that uh, you would actually end up uh, with a few files in your uh, home directory uh, under C colon reality web one will be called rwfee.txt another will be called rw uh, disbursements.txt uh, based on the file number uh, I'll show you how those files will actually look like uh, they will look like uh, something like this the disbursement will look like this uh, where you know uh, land transfer tax uh, registration fee everything will be recorded here and the fee structure will actually look something like this uh, let me close this if you look at the fee it'll look like that like you know professional services you know what did you do everything will be uh, like that whatever you put in your text in eula to import this is very simple you basically create a matter then go to import button choose the file that you want to import so in this case I'm going to go to uh, uh, you know uh, let's say I want to in import the fees right like I would choose the fees then here uh, you would choose reality web PC log fee and you just upload as you see here everything that you saw here the rush fee the purchase price everything is there and then you just take action on them one by one you'd say hey uh, uh, you know mm, you can say uh, uh, add it as a new event right and as you see here when you do that uh, actually everything is being added the $600 is being actually being picked you can go one by one right uh, or you can actually take action and say add all dockets it'll add everything right like you know it'll, it'll just add everything and you can you can uh, just take them uh, you know uh, fully so that's how you would import all your uh, dockets uh, into EULA, right? Um, let's show disbursements. That's even more simpler. So, what do you do? You would go again into imports. And this time, you would choose, um, uh, you know, uh, the same file, but rather than the fee file, you would choose the disbursement. Let me choose the uh, RW disp.txt. Again, uh, you know, make that an um, LDD reality disbursement and upload. What it'll do is it'll take every of your disbursement and pull it in. Like for example, a land transfer tax, or that was from trust account, uh, you know, MLTT. So you would know all your disbursements and you'd actually have to take action one by one. Uh, was it actually paid from cash? Uh, was it actually paid from uh, as a prepayment? Uh, was it a disbursement from fund trust? You would just go one by one by one like you know for example you can just say uh, you know this uh, registration fee 1075 right and you just say uh, pay disbursement for that and then you see automatically it puts 1075 it knows that there's a tax included on that uh, and then you would also put the bank and then you just have to choose which bank you paid it from right let's say you paid it from the general bank uh, how did you pay for it and then you can get the same value Let's look at few ones that are uh, actually tax excluded. For example, the TSF uh, fee was actually tax excluded. So when you actually hit it in new law as an import, because the export actually tells us that it was tax excluded, we automatically indicate that there is no tax. So you should be able to handle that very easily, uh, you know, in new law. And you, all you need to do is just hit the same button. So just follow through every of your disbursement that you put in Reality Web and import them one by one and uh, you know just take action just take action and tell us whether it was a trust one or was it also a um, general one and it'll automatically fill in the details like like you know WSF it knows it's not taxed so it'll automatically do that and, and you can uh, you can uh, uh, 
you know just import it now there are also other features where if you don't want to import something or it's a duplicate or something like that you can act, always delete it uh, and sometimes if it gets locked because you've already taken an action like for example this one you just said hey you already imported and then you realized oh my god i made a mistake no i need to import it again you can unlock it and then you know uh, you know you can take action again so there are some buttons to actually unlock and uh, delete them uh, but uh, it automatically recognizes uh, tags so and uh, you need to know whether it was actually done from a trust account or general so again uh, just to summarize the import feature uh, has both LDT reality web for fee and disbursements you just need to choose the file that you exported from this document uh, this document can be very easily found on the internet you just have to go to lawyer.deal.com and look for this particular uh, a website and you should be able to find if you search on that lawyer done deal and account integration pc law you'll be looking for